This is Yasmina Olsten is live in Buckhead and Yasmina, the owner of one restaurant, told you it is way too soon for her. Alicia, that's right. The owner of Cafe Posh says she would have to lower her standards to open by Monday. Today, she actually walked us through some of those guidelines required to open the doors of restaurants to let customers inside, even though she says she's not ready. I think restaurants should be the last ones to open their dining areas. Like restaurants around the metro, Cafe Posh is curbside and delivery during the coronavirus pandemic. And owner Simona Edry says that will continue to be the case, despite Governor Kemp allowing restaurants to reopen Monday under strict guidelines. To, to keep my standards and my quality and to take care of those customers, take and sourcing to do that, to, 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 up, to upkeep to, with everything that I'm already doing uh, right, um, takes my entire day. After seeing those guidelines for restaurants, Edry says it would simply be too much on top of the requirements they already follow. The guidelines to reopen include seating customers six feet apart, employees must wear a mask, and no buffets or salad bars. If we rush and we lower our standards, it's, it's not going to work in the long run. Michelle Stumpy, a hospitality lawyer, says the social distancing aspect alone can be difficult for restaurants, especially of this size. In Cafe Posh, that would mean only six people at a time, while keeping other restrictions in mind as well. But Stumpy says each owner knows what will or won't work for their restaurant. She's got regular customers, two girlfriends, and they're used to sitting together, so they come in together and she knows that they don't live together. So what is she going to do? Say, OK, I'm going to separate you two at the two tables that I'm allowed to have in my restaurant because of my square footage. And Ettery says she asked all of her customers, some of which she's had for 20 years, what they thought. And they all said they were OK supporting her with curbside and delivery until she thought it was safe to reopen these doors. Live in Buckhead, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yasmina, thanks. And for those